but they can't do anything else. There's no training going on, there's no games going on. I love the fact that I click my fingers. Oh. Are you doing it? Because yeah. I click my fingers, my children just appear. But the good thing about that is I can just click them again. Welcome to the show, Highlight the Roots. I've got a fantastic show for you today. Even though I'm on my own, I'm still gonna deliver content to you guys. I want you to, if you can, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell notifications for me, please, to stay in touch with all our content that we're bringing to you. It means a lot to me, and we're trying to grow our community, and with you doing that, it's gonna help. Obviously, you don't have to, but if you enjoy this content, please do whack that subscribe button. I did say I'm on my own, but I have got a special guest, and um, the, the magic of being a parent I'm able to clip my fingers. Oh. Cool, all right, nice one. This is Charlie, this is my boy. Charlie, do you want to introduce yourself? Um, hi, I'm Charlie, I'm 10, nearly 11 years old, and I love playing football. It's unfortunate that this is happening in the world. No one was expecting it, and can't wait to get back to football, really, because it's a bit unfortunate. Cool, Charlie, what's happening in the world? Because you've just confused everyone. Somebody could um, be watching this in two years' time and not have a clue what you're oh, talking about. Oh, the coronavirus. Ah, the coronavirus, yeah, so cool. So what we are going to do today, Charlie and I are going to talk about the coronavirus and how uh, children at home are playing football in their gardens because they've got nowhere else to go. They might be able to get over to the field or on the park with their parents, but they can't do anything else. There's no training going on, there's no games going on. I love the fact that I click my fingers. Oh. Are you doing it? Because I click my fingers, my children just appear. But the good thing about that is I can just click them again and they disappear, no problem. I wish that happened in real life, that's just obviously camera tricks. Right, today, Charlie and I are gonna uh, talk about um, the, the football situation, as I've just mentioned. Um, the fact that I've got a guest with me today is fantastic. I was trying to improvise, I was trying to work out how I can bring guests. This is a football chat show. I do struggle to chat just on my own, so, with us having a, a social distancing and all being, being locked down in our houses, we obviously can't get together with the guys, Candy, Billy, Dan, etc. the guys who have done shows for me in the past. So Charlie's kindly offered to jump in and he's got a few questions for some of his friends. Um, so we got, uh, we got some of the guys to answer, some of the kids to answer some questions to get their perspective rather than just having me talk through it and you guys listen to me rub it on again. Charlie, what you got first? Okay, so Henry, um, have you learned anything new that you will do when games start again? Hi, my name's Henry and I play for Breeston Park under 11s and Aspire FC under 10s and I support Nottingham Forest. For the coronavirus, I've been learning close ball control in my back garden, and when I get to back to my clubs, I'm going to be like Messi dribbling through those players. Thanks for that, Henry. Yeah, nice one, Henry. Thank you very much. Great little um, skill drills in the uh, garden there as well. So, Charlie, have you got any more? I know we've um, I know we've spoke to a couple of a uh, couple of the kids and a couple of your friends. Who else you got? Oh yeah, Josh. Um, what are you using for targets like what a wheelie bin or your parents' plant pots by any chance? Parents' plant pots. Right, Josh, take it away. Hi, my name's Josh. I play for two San Diego Town teams anywhere across the defence. I'm a big Man United fan and I can't wait for the season to get back again to watch football and to play football. <laughs> I use my dad, my fence, my goal to practice, my shooting, dribbling, my defence and all my other skills. Can't wait for the season to start again. Thanks for that, Josh. Yeah, cheers, Josh. Nice one. Um, Josh is lucky because uh, his dad's a coach, Charlie's coach, actually. And um, obviously when you're, your dad's a coach, it's a little bit of a nightmare for the kids during season when we're actually training because they get... Uh, Coaches do tend to come down harder on their children than the, uh, than the other players. However, the advantage is now having your dad is, or your, or your mum as a coach has got to be a beneficial because one, you've got gear in the garage, cones, footballs, etc. that you guys can use 
So you've got literally a little session you can put on your garden and you've got your coach living with you to enable your development as well. So it's got to be a bit of a bit of a help. What do you think to that, Charlie? Are you, are you happy that you've got your dad as a coach or not? Yeah, I'm quite pleased actually because I don't think I could uh, learn some as many skills that, like you've been teaching yeah. me some in the garden. I don't know about the skills, dude. I can I can teach you some uh, technique and things like that, but the skills are a little bit beyond my toolbox now. Right, Charlie, what else you got? You've got a special one, I think, oh, haven't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. you've got a special one. What's your special one? Um, I think his name is Charlie Russell. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot. The best. What are you missing most about football? Hello, I'm Charlie Russell and um, I'm a big Liverpool fan but I'm still from Derby but it doesn't matter anyways. I play for San Diego Town, Galaxy and I play right mid. So what I'm missing is that playing with people so like I'm playing on my own really, it doesn't really work. And um, I'm missing my friends quite a bit and I'm um, missing being in an open space playing football. Hair's looking a mess, but um, we'll just forget about that, and thanks. Cool, thanks, Charlie. Nice one. Um, okay, uh, some great answers from the from the boys at the moment. Uh, what we got next, Charlie? I know we've got one, another one of um, your teammates. Yeah, Tayon. What is the downside to training at home? Hi, my name's Tay, and I play for San Diego Under Elevens in Centre Mid. Um, you don't have the support of your teammate and like it's just you'll find it boring because you have no one to like play with or anything like talking to everybody having a laugh with them or having a laugh so the social aspect of the, the football you like the most is there anything else you're missing during this lockdown period with football watching liverpool play watching liverpool play huge liverpool fans here as you probably already can distinguish uh, hope that's okay Mark over to you thanks for that Taeon yeah wicked Taeon again Taeon's uh, lucky as his dad's a coach as you may have heard just there on the film and Taeon has the advantage of um, he plays for myself and James Heard in the other uh, post with Josh and he plays on a Sunday and his dad's the coach for his team on a Sunday right Charlie any more yes Eddie Will you train more at home when this is all over? Hello, this is Eddie from Derby. My team is Duffield Dynamos and I'm a striker. Yeah, thanks for that, Eddie. That's brilliant. Um, Eddie, Eddie seems to have been training all the time, and during this time period as well, Eddie obviously and his dad, AD, have actually set up their own YouTube channel, which you saw the, the caption on the clip there. So it's Eddie Ten Kids Football Coaching. Go and find it on YouTube. I'm sure he's recording loads of uh, little drills in the garden, and really seems to be enjoying himself. I love that little one there with using both feet as well to strike the ball into the goal. So. Really great encouragement from his dad, who's also a coach. Um, so obviously this uh, this helps at these times. Right, Charlie, anyone else? Yeah, Bella, when do you think we'll be back training as normal?
Hi, my name is Bella Gerlin and I play for Leicester RTC and I support Nottingham Forest. I don't think we'll be back at football until next season, personally, and I'm most looking forward to seeing my friends and playing with my friends again and then seeing them in person. Nice one, Bella. Yeah, thanks, Bella. Bella's doing really well. Um, she won't mind me, mind me saying she's uh, on an international pathway playing for Leicester RTC, as she just mentioned. Uh, fingers crossed Bella's development carries on. We'll watch her progress over the coming years. So keep it up, Bella, as well as the other players that we've just had on the clips previously. Okay, Charlie, I think we're done. Are we all? We've got one more. We've got one more. Who's that for, Charlie? Ben. Okay, what's the question? <laughs> so we asked Ben, Ben, do you think the lockdown will hinder or benefit your development? And uh, Ben's a goalkeeper, so over to you, Ben. Hello, I'm Ben. I play for Repton. I play for Derby Tips as a goalkeeper, and I also train at Derby Development as a goalkeeper. question um, I think the lockdown will benefit me because as I'm growing I keep getting little injuries and I think by then they will all have gone also I think it'll benefit me mentally from having a break from football and I think I'll be back and roaring ready right nice one Ben uh, some great answers there guys I think I'm just going to give you a quick piece of advice keep up the training in the garden I know not everyone's got the benefit of a big garden there are little pieces of grass I'm sure you can go to on your one day allowed of exercise. Take a football with you, just do a little bit. Don't forget the fitness side of things as well. At your age, it doesn't really matter a lot, I don't think, because um, you're fit enough. But be careful of the fridge, because the fridge is full of chocolate and the cupboards are full of biscuits. And guarantee you will put a little bit of weight on, because obviously not everyone of your age, Charlie, is watching this. We've got people of different ages. We've got, we've got guys and girls who play football as adults. You know, they might be struggling to get out there with fitness. We could do a whole other show on that. We've got um, guys and girls who are about 15 or 16 who will just probably want to, like, go to the cupboards and eat because they're bored or something like that. It's also easy for these guys at this age just to sit on their Xboxes or Playstations all day, which I know Charlie would do if I allowed him to, and, um, and he has done a little bit. But obviously I like to get him out. The sun's shining, the weather's nice. If you can get out, do get out. Obviously in the garden, in, you, in your own... Uh, confined space it's difficult we will get through this and we will back as normal as soon as possible i tell you now we will and uh, again thanks for watching remember if you guys like the show subscribe please hit the like button hit the bell if you do subscribe so you don't miss the new content coming out i'm going to try and bring out some more content it is difficult to get it done at this uh, this inconvenient time with the guys but i keep thinking of different ideas and i hope you enjoyed this stay safe